Okay, here's a quick update video. There's the forward hatch of the boat. I just wanted to give you guys a look. It was in pretty rough shape, as you see by the photos. And uh, spent a bit of time sanding it, removing the deride box. And um, I was going to use it, but I think I'm going to rebuild it. Um, although it looks not bad from here, there are some issues with it. And I know this will be hard to see, but the hatch isn't exactly square. And it's pretty much cupped along the edges. Uh, video doesn't show it very well, but that's one of the other reasons I'm going to rebuild the hatch. So that hole is left over from the Durad box, and you can see the screw holes where it was screwed through the hatch itself. I think I'm going to replace that with a, uh, a Davy round deck light, either a bullseye or one of the prism ones. Um, probably not the melon glass because I think it's a bit too low, and this will be over the forward double berth. Um, so it won't have headroom underneath it anyway, but I don't really need a big chunk of glass sticking out and uh, bashing my knee into it, which I'm prone to do. Okay, here's a shot of the mainsail traveler, which you didn't see in the videos because I removed it earlier. Um, and the reason I removed it is it wasn't bolted down. It was just sitting on top of the cabin. So uh, there it is. Uh, it's got Harkin track. Um, I think it's probably spotted gum or an Australian hardwood. Not quite sure what this fair lead was actually for. It does have a car, but sort of no control ends on the car. So I'm thinking about replacing this completely with bronze track. Probably not curved, maybe flat, although I'm going to try to steam bend some hardwood into this shape, put it back onto the boat and then maybe build it up flat on the top for some bronze track for the mainsail traveler. So I'll move that out of the way and we'll take a look at some of the uh, rest of the interior that I've stripped out. Okay, you can see this pile of junk, uh, some new bronze that I picked up and some new brass and some of the interior fittings. So uh, we got some cup holders the small one's pretty good, I may reuse that. The big one, I think I might cut out the center section and use it as binocular holder. We also have this little light, which I kind of like, and you would have seen it in the interior video, but it's pretty dirty and cracked. Um, might try to refurbish it, see how it goes. Uh, I might just replace it with something else. Uh, moving along, there's some new bronze screws that I picked up, but here are these things. Uh, you would have saw them on the exterior video on the aft wall of the cabin. Little clamshell shaped piece of hardwood with uh, homemade red LEDs for some night lighting in the cockpit. So I'm going to try to uh, sand and varnish them back up, put them back on the cabin, and I think they'll be good. And there's the old barometer. Uh, the barometer appears to work, but it's in pretty rough shape as you see. A lot of corrosion. Might be able to polish it up and see how it goes. Uh, same with the clocks in a lot better shape and newer. But I do have a new clock and barometer and I'll show you those in a few minutes and let you know where I got them from if you're in uh, Australia or New Zealand. Picked it up in New Zealand from an eBay store. Great service and uh, good price. Okay, there's the chart light. Um, I was going to buy a new metal tube because I thought this one didn't work but it actually appears to work better now that I've played with it a bit I think it just needs a good clean and polish it looks like it's actually copper which is nice and uh, sort of a homemade job obviously some hardwood and uh, hardwood top red LEDs I think it'll be really nice uh, it's in pretty good condition other than the flex neck itself which just needs a bit of cleanup so we'll test that out and hopefully get it back on the boat at the chart table. And you would recognize these from the interior video, just uh, some racks with, um, I assume, mahogany pin rails, which I found online in both teak and mahogany here in Australia at a pretty good price. Um, yeah, so might give them a sand and see if I can stain them to match the rest of the new interior and may reuse them. 